sitting down with Mr. Marion Malone. How you doing today, Marion? Good, how about you? All right, Marion, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Mobile, Alabama. And what high school did you attend in Mobile? Uh, Manatee Blunt High School. Manatee Blunt High School. Yes, now, uh, tell us about your high school athletic ex experience. Uh, well, I only played basketball until my senior year. Okay. Um, and then I started to experiment with cross country to prepare myself um, with more endurance for basketball. Okay. Um, by running cross country. And um, it's was, it was kind of funny. I I ran the 5K, and when I got to about the last 60 meters, I sprinted the entire way. <laughs> and now that I think back on it, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but um, my my cross country coach was like, uh, "Yeah, I have to get you on my track team." Well, I can understand that. <laughs> During your time in the in high school, you also participated in the Junior Olympics. If that's correct, yes, sir. Tell us about that. Um, the summer after I graduated from high school, I I really wasn't ready for my season to end because I had just gotten started and I had success with um, Alabama High School Athletic Association. And when that ended, I found a track club. Um, it was the Alabama Speed and Fitness. And um, I found a coach and he kind of took me under his wing. He taught me everything. And I, I, I learned quickly. Uh, I, I learned all of the events. And so I got into the decathlon, and I ended up making it to um, the national championship and ended up being the second decathlete in the nation. Second decathlete in the nation in that national championship in the Junior Olympics, correct? Right. Uh, it was held in Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, no, actually it was uh, North Carolina a and North where, Carolina a and the regionals will be this year. And you mentioned the regionals, Mary. Congratulations, you qualified for the NCAA regionals. Right. By running a uh, ten seven nine, if I'm not mistaken, ten six eight, ten six eight. You're right, ten six eight in a 100 meter dash, and so congratulations with that time. First bulldog um, from the Alabama A&M track and field team in over three years. Um, tell us what was your thought process going into that 100 meter race? Oh man, um, it was really under bad conditions, so I was just thinking get in and get out um, without getting injured because you know we're, we're coming to the close of the season um, with SWAT this week. But um, like I said, I was just thinking about not getting injured, but it went better than I expected. You said bad conditions. What kind of conditions were there? Um, well, it was raining and it was kind of cold. It was kind of chilly. And anybody who runs track or knows anything knows that, that that's really bad condition. Because you have a wet track because it's raining. And you just wanted to get in and get out, so you utilized that mindset and ran the fastest time you've ever run in the 100 meter dash. Your career best. Yes, okay, well that's great. How has your other events kind of evolved? Well, actually yesterday I was working on um, discus and hurdles and um, long jump. And I just had a moment where I was doing the discus and I had a really good throw. And I like, I just exploded with like clapping and everything because it seems like everything is just coming together right now. Everything is coming together and it's kind of exciting but scary at the same time. It's, it, I'm scaring myself because I, I never had this much success. And coming together is exactly what you wanted to do, especially going into the week of the Southwestern Athletic Conference Championships. Yes, sir. That's going to be held this weekend uh, in New Orleans, Louisiana. So good luck with that. Tell us about uh, you're going to participate. Tell us about not only uh, you participated in the decathlon, but you, you say you're also going to be running the 100 meter dash. Right. So just tell us what what thought process goes into preparing for all those meets because you have 10 events with the decathlon, and of course you have the 100 meter dash, which, are, which will be your 11th uh, event. So just how does one prepare for that? Well, it's all about experience. This is my third year doing this. Um, I'm very mentally strong right now. I'm I'm really in a good place. I, I've done this a lot, so I'm used to it now. What is your inspiration when you're on the track? I just I want to be great. I want I want to leave my mark on the U.S. history and the world, not just Alabama. Or the swag, I think, farther than that. 
As uh, what has Coach Seals told you here has prepared you or helped you get over hurdles that you might have experienced early in the season? Coach, you know, you know, Coach uh, was a former Olympian uh-huh. myself, so she just she just always telling me to um, do what I do best, and if I do that, then nobody can stop me but myself. Well, Mary, we want to thank you for taking this time out and speaking with us in the Alabama a and Bulldog community. We want to wish you good luck this week in the uh, SWAC, SWAC Track and Field Championships. And also after the SWAC Championships, you, of course, good luck in the NCAA regional meet. Thank you.